TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. This may look like an ordinary Land Cruiser, a 1996 model, an off-roader with a couple of graphics, but actually it's much more than this. It's a full electric swap Land Cruiser and was done on a budget. And I have the owner here, Jimmy. Jimmy, hello. Hey. How's it going? Good, good, good. So uh, I want to kind of walk around sure. your creation and talk about it, uh, learn about it, um, see how much it cost you, how difficult or easy it was. Okay. Um, so how did this project start? So I started, uh, I used to own a Nissan Leaf and I would commute uh, from here to Boulder and back every day and it's like 70 miles and I would sit there in my electric car. <laughs> yeah. I, it was quiet, it was smooth and I liked it a lot. Yeah. And people back then had started the ideas of maybe you could take the parts from these Leafs and put them in other cars. So the idea was born of the electric conversion. Um, it's really popular now, it's taking off. Yeah. But I wanted to do something a little different. I was into four by fouring the last couple of years yeah. and I have myself another Land Cruiser that's gas that I take off road. And yeah. I really wanted to get the 80 series because the classic Land Cruiser looks, the yeah. solid front axle and why not combine the two? So I have a Land Cruiser that's electric and it really started to make sense when you realize when you're on the trails, you're only going 15, 20 miles and that's taking you five or six hours. Yeah. Um, so you can spend all day out there and have fun, but not travel crazy distance. And you kind of like stop and go, stop and go, right? Yeah, stop and so go. So slow speed. You're not idling away and it's quiet. There's no gas fumes. Okay. So, so did you take your old leaf and Ripped it powertrain out? Or no, what? I bought a, a wrecked leaf from Copart okay. Insurance Auctions. Okay. And I took that one apart. Um, so I bought a salvage leaf for about $4,000. Okay, so you did basically all the work yourself? Yeah. On this. Yeah, I've got some friends, my friend Dom and my friend Josh, who big helps to me. And yeah. basically we took the leaf apart. We took the motor out, the battery out. We took all of the components that we needed. And then we took the Land Cruiser apart. We took the engine out, the transmission and the gas tank, all the stuff we didn't need. And we just started figuring out where things fit. This is the inverter up here. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, charger or PWM, power distribution module. Oh, it says Nissan. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then this in the middle is the battery. So inside there is the battery box that I custom built using all the Nissan components. So it's still got the safety interlock. It's still got the current sensor and the fuse built in. So it's um, still, a Nissan Leaf pack just in a different form factor. And kind of, so people are no Leafs, right? Yeah. They know the, their capability kind of, and um, that means you can have the, the charger, you have all that stuff, right? Yep, I got the same charger that a Leaf has. I have the normal L2, and then I've also got a Chatamo fast charger here okay. uh, for DC fast charging. Yep, so that's pretty pretty awesome. So then, so what was your budget? And um, because I want to get to the bottom of this because there's also a lot of nice conversions. Yeah. I mean, super high end. Really nice ones. <laughs> yeah, some, but, some of these cars are like the best cars I've ever seen, yes. whether they're electric or not. Or not, you yeah. know, in the, these are six figure vehicles, yes. right? A lot of money, but what was your goal here? My goal was to do uh, something I could do myself. So I have a small two car garage and I don't have any crazy tools, but I've got, you know, a welder and I can cut things and, and grind and um, I can wrench. So it's something I wanted to be able to do myself or with the help of my friends. I wanted to complete it in a reasonable time frame. So I completed it in a year, which I didn't want it to stretch out much longer than that. Uh, I've had car projects and if they stall out and you lose motivation and they collect dust and it's just, you know, never ending. So I yeah. wanted to get it knocked out quick. Sweet. I gotcha. And then, and so you picked up this donor Land Cruiser. Um, how much was this and what was it like? I bought this truck for a thousand bucks, which all the Land Cruiser guys are kicking themselves, but it had no title and it was leaking every fluid. It's got 325,000 miles on it, uh -huh. um, but it's Toyota Land Cruiser, it'll run forever. Yeah. So it was a perfect starting point for me because the engine's bad, it was cheap and it's what I wanted, so. And the interior is still relatively nice, right? Well, when I bought it, well, it wasn't. So well, I put, okay. uh, took the carpet, I took all the seats out, they were junk. These are seats from a different truck. Okay. Steering wheel from a different truck. I got it back up at the snuff, so um, okay. cleaned it all out and, and made it mine. You. Well, it's looking nice. Um, and then you kept 
you kept the axles and the four-wheel drive system alone. You exactly. left it alone, right? I still have the stock transfer case. So from the transfer case to the tires is all stock Toyota parts, which means if I'm out there on the trails, the stuff subject to abuse is Toyota tested. Yeah. If I break something, I got Toyota parts I can replace it with. So the transfer case also, all that gear reduction uh, lightens the load on the Nissan motor. So yeah. uh, it works, it works really so well. So the motor is really up front kind of down low. Yeah, the motor is just about right here. Okay. And it's about 12 inches long. So it's inside the transmission tunnel, so yeah. to speak. Yep. Yeah, yep, it's inside there and it directly drives. Uh, it has a reduction unit that reduces it and then it goes from there into the transmission, the transfer case. Okay. So there's no transmission other than a high and a low range. I see, I gotcha. And I, oh, I see, are those solar? Yeah, so I got a Gamma VD roof rack. Gamma VD makes roof racks here in Colorado and he set me up with these solar panels. It's 400 watts. It would take uh, maybe two to three weeks to charge the truck off the solar alone. Yes. But uh, when I'm driving, they actually are hooked up to the 12 volt system because it's got an electric power steering pump and electric vacuum brake pump. And those are constantly drawing. So the solar helps to offset that. Just kind of uh, yeah. keeping it replenished a little bit. Exactly. Least. And okay. then I want to, uh, this is an experiment. I want to see, you know, is the solar going to work at all? Um, maybe I can get a ground array. I can set them up yeah. on the ground. Yeah. And my goal is to, with this truck is to do an off-grid cross-country like overlanding trip where I'm in the middle of the mountains here in Colorado or Utah and I do 100 or 200 miles all with renewable energy. So are you able, have you driven to, Mo you've been to Moab. I, did I you drive it there or no, did you trailer it there? I trailered there? it there. Okay. Because the, the driving range on this is? It's about 60 miles. Okay. Yeah. That would so, take a long time to go, <laughs> what, 350 miles? Yeah, or, especially or even more. with the DC fast charging, it would take it, like a week, maybe longer. But like you said, but once you get there, yeah. that's when the benefit is. And really, Moab is like the perfect town for a truck like this because it's a small town. It's only 15 or 20 miles long. And all of the stuff, the hiking trails, the off-road trails are all there in the same vicinity. Yeah. Okay, so then after a year of work and yet Nissan components, how? what was the cost of the project? Um, I haven't added it all up, but I'm probably around fifteen to twenty thousand okay. dollars and that includes the the truck here the Nissan Leaf that I bought the little bits here and there that were unexpected I had to have a couple parts custom manufactured uh -huh. um, and like some, what, what, what was some of the, those little hitches that you had to get over so I had to figure out how to run the power steering so this here is a power steering pump from a Volvo that's oh. electric okay and it runs off a 12 volt um, the 12 volt system okay and that provides hydraulic uh, power to my steering rack I see and the reason I needed that is because with the solid front axle the heavy steering you need that hydraulic assist there's no way to get around that um, so that was a trick to I, I had to make the hydraulic lines myself and uh, source all the parts it's also got a brake vacuum pump which is from a Chevy Camaro okay. and that's this silver canister here that just provides vacuum to the brake booster so that's another feature. I wanted to keep the brake stock. I didn't want to modify any of the safety systems. I wanted it all to be stock. Yeah, and all, um, like we talked about the axles, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So one of the biggest issues I've had with it is uh, vibration in the drive line after I get up to about 50 miles an hour. Okay. So that's what I'm working on now is I'm going to re-engineer that connection between the motor and the transfer case okay. uh, to eliminate that vibration. I gotcha. Well, thank you for sharing this. and. So you've been enjoying it since April, pretty much. Yeah, I drive it around months. town. Um, it's great. I can run errands. It's 60 miles. Um, if you're just running errands around town, is more than enough. Uh -huh. And it's super fun off-road. We went to Moab, and the performance on the rocks and the dirt was way better than I expected. I didn't expect it to be as good as, as it actually was. Well, there was. you are. There's a picture of you. Is that you? Yeah. Yep, that's okay. me. Okay, there you go. And you can check out my YouTube channel, Unique Mobility. So you, did you document a lot of this as well? I have documented a lot of it. I still have a lot more to edit and put up. You know how that is. Yeah. But yeah, I want to uh, document everything to do with this truck on there. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, Thanks. for sharing.